Now, KernCast 23 with Colin Jackson. All right, well, it's a beautiful night to celebrate the arts in Shafter. That's where we find 23 ABC's meteorologist Colin Jackson with our KernCast. Colin? Yep, you know what? The weather's fantastic. We got the doors open, the windows are open. We're in the 70s, it's gorgeous. And we are in Shafter for the start. It's a kickoff of five to six days of nothing but art and food and music. You can hear it in the background. And we're having a lot of fun. This is Scott. Scott, tell us exactly why sh people should come, plus the dinner. Well, the dinner to start with. We've, okay. got, uh, we've got a lot of food events this, this weekend, but this is the Colors uh, uh, Celebration of the Arts in Shafter. Right. It's our second year. We have a variety of art-related events happening all weekend. Tonight, we have uh, the Community Chess Spaghetti Dinner. Uh, later this evening, we have a silent movie, uh, Buster Keaton in the General. Nice. A classic uh, uh, silent movie with a live organ accompaniment during the entire movie. Nice. Uh, then tomorrow night we have uh, a formal dinner with three film-related uh, uh, industry em workers or people that work in the industry. They're going to tell about their experience in the film and uh, entertainment industry, a formal sit-down dinner. We also have uh, the local high school is putting on a play. They're going to do a production of Our Town. Okay. And we have two additional plays, one written by a local playwright, Larry Starr, um, who's written a, an original piece that okay. performing. And uh, also the Shakespeare Festival from Bakersfield will be performing a Midsummer Night's Dream. So this is like the busiest weekend in Shafter. This is my busiest weekend in Shafter <laughs> for sure. Uh, I bet it is. And guess what? Uh, the spaghetti dinner is tonight. Dinner. And we got a sample because, you know, it's TV. It's not radio. We got to show you what you're getting. Yeah, it's, I'm going to drop it. If I drop it, I'm going to be really sad because we want to eat this. And this is what you get if you sit down and eat. Yeah. And I've been working over on the to-go line. And you get Ten bucks. At least this on the to-go line. And then the proceeds go to good things. They do. So that's a good they thing, do. too. Comes with a salad and uh, great weather. Take a look at what's going on. We have dry conditions, though. Hasn't it been dry this year or what? Very dry. Too dry. Here's the summary for Bakersfield. You know, October, November looked kind of promising, right? Half inch, three-quarter of an inch. That's not bad. And then the bottom fell out. January, not bad. But February to date has been very sad. So for the season, we sit at 1.92 inches of rain. And that's not much. Uh, a wind advisory over the grapevine. So both hands on the steering wheel, please, as you head south. They'll have gusty conditions there from the northeast. High pressure just hanging off the coast, giving us warmer weather, and that's going to move on top of us tomorrow. So record highs are in jeopardy. Record highs are in jeopardy. Alert. Bakersfield high record for tomorrow is 80. I don't think we'll get there, but we might. We're going to wait and see. Upper 70s, definitely for this time of year is very rare. Rainfall chances return that first part of March, but first we're gonna have a cooler weekend, okay? And then we're gonna hope for those rainfall chances and snow, and it could get pretty cold, we'll wait and see. There's our music source in the background behind the graphic, you can see him, he's great. 72 is our high today, 72. 65 is the average, the low this morning was 44, and sunrise tomorrow, 6.30ish depending upon when your kids decide to get up and wake you up before that. Why do kids get up before they have to? I don't, still don't have that figured out. 80 in Santa Maria today, 78 in LA. It was 90 in Palm Springs. Oh my gosh, 90. The pools are open in Palm Springs. Just bring your wallet for the golf prices for this time of year. 80 in San Luis Obispo, 70 at Lake Isabella, 68 in Porterville, 73 in Mojave. And it was very nice. And Santa Barbara was 75. Oh, see, now he's just showing off back there. You can hear him. He's good. 71 is what we have now. Winds are northwest at 5, dew point 39. So don't worry about fog. Very dry air. And other numbers look good, too. Look at Ridgecrest. Still at 76. Those guys hit 80 today. Lancaster was warm. And it's now 68 at Lake Isabella. Porterville, 66. And Wasco's coming in at 69. Winds are light from the northwest. Tomorrow, they'll turn a little southeasterly and warmer. San Francisco 64, Yosemite 57, Sacramento 68, Fresno hits 70, along the coast, low 70s for the most part, Solvang a little warmer, Pismo Beach around 68, Morro Bay almost 60, and to the Southland, temperatures look awfully nice too, upper 70s from LA to Disneyland, 80 to 90 in Palm Springs, we're going to wait and see if that wind picks up there, 70 in San Diego, southeast winds tomorrow at 5 to 10, most locations low to mid 70s, very pleasant weather. This will be the last warm day before we cool off into the mid 60s for the weekend. Also into the foothills and our mountain friends up at Lake Isabella, 73. Same thing for the heights, 68 in Kernville and Glenville goes to 68, 62 to Hatchapi. Desert regions a little windier and highs in the mid 70s. So very nice weather on the way. 
All right, what can we expect for our area overnight in Bakersfield? 45, clear skies, a light southeast wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour, very pleasant weather for the overnight. And tomorrow's high, 75, mostly sunny, southeast winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Might get a little warmer, but regardless, the pollens are just going crazy. You can see everything blooming out there, 8.9. Wood burning is allowed, but please burn cleanly, 74, and moderate air quality for tomorrow. And here's our seven day forecast. The weekend is almost here and it will be cooler and cooler for most of next week. So you know what? Go ahead and wash your car. Our rainfall chances are very slim. And in the Kern River Valley, the same kind of cool down, but even cooler on Sunday into the upper 50s. And for the mountains, we will have temperatures that are cooler as well. Mid 50s for places like Tehachapi and maybe some 40s on Monday. So again, the first week of March looks like we could have a sprinkle of rain. And there are mushrooms in here and fresh tomatoes, the whole deal, it's ready to go. I wonder how long it'll take for this to be gone before the crowds show up. We're reporting live in Shafter. I'm Colin Jackson. Back to you in the studio. Eat your hearts out. Oh, we're jealous. <laughs> Our stomachs are growling over here.